if this is one of your constituents and she uh, has a very quick question she wanted me to pose. Do you mind? Fire away. Here we go. This Fire is, away. Uh, Stacy, can you say really quickly what, what you saw? Yes, on the, on the evening of March 13th, I was driving towards Phoenix near the Sacketon exit, and um, I saw three lights at the very beginning, uh, followed by two on each edge of a massive triangle come off the Sacketon Mountains at about 2,500 feet, proceeded to come straight in front of us over I-10 and over my car. The size of this object was large enough that if uh, um, I were to have opened a newspaper and laid on my back, I still would not have been able to block out um, the entire object. It was a massive black object traveling very slow without any noise over I-10 on the evening of March 13th, right around 8.30. Is, is this still a matter of ridicule to him after he came out on TV with his alien um, making us all look uh, a little foolish? Uh, uh, we've all remained unwavering on our descriptions. A lot of evidence has, has been provided since then, and I'm wondering Well, that's a good question, and and of course, as I said earlier, I, I never felt that the overall situation was a matter of ridicule. Uh, we certainly took advantage of it, no question about that. But no, I don't consider it a matter of ridicule at all. I think it was a very, um, I, you know, I think it was a legitimate uh, occurrence of an um, unknown origin craft of some sort, um, and uh, who knows where it came from, inexplicable, uh, and probably one of the major sightings in, you know, in modern history in the country, because a lot of people saw it in Maricopa County, and I saw it too. So I See, I used to work, when I was first in the Air Force, I worked at Luke in the Sage Center there in NORAD, and, and so something like that would go up the chain of command immediately to NORAD uh, in Colorado and then go to the Pentagon. So certainly the military chain of command knew exactly what was going on. Now, whether they immediately transmitted it to the White House or not, uh, I don't know, but certainly it went up the chain immediately and does in the Pentagon to the Joint Chiefs, to whoever's on duty. Um, and um, so they must have a record of it, but whether the president was informed, I don't know. I imagine if the, if the vehicle had uh, landed that the president would be, would have, uh, uh, he, he would have been notified and activated and uh, Taking a ride. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I'd hitch a ride. Uh, you know? Uh, so um, it's hard to know what really happened. Um, but it's been sort of a stone wall in the, um, on, the, in, on the military side. And my Department of Public Safety uh, looked into it too, and they didn't get any answers. So. Okay, well, the, the last thing I, I guess I would ask you one more time if you would if you wouldn't mind if you if you could be on television for 15 world television for 15 seconds to describe what took place what, what would you say I would say that uh, at that time in uh, over Phoenix uh, we all experienced a very uh, exciting uh, sighting uh, of um, some kind of a craft of unknown origin nobody's ever been able to explain it uh, and that it was um, uh, most of us feel that it was definitely uh, you know of alien origin uh, enormous, uh, inexplicable, and it was really a thrilling, uh, thrilling event. Uh, it, I know it made a lot of converts, and the lady that uh, asked that question, I mean, she, she saw it come over, I think the Sacatone Mountains is what she was saying, and, <clears throat> and you can tell the, the earnestness uh, in her voice, how earnest she was, that it, it was, uh, she, she really had quite an experience. So um, I guess we're part of the, uh, the UFO trail, we, uh, you know, we kind of fit the pattern here, and uh, I think that's wonderful. Were you, were you at all surprised, I mean, you know, being governor of the state, where this is all going on, were you surprised at how little information you were able to get out of them? Yes. Yeah, I really was, yeah. I mean, we really did make a bunch of calls, and I talked to the general at uh, the National Guard, and I talked to the guy, the command, I wish I could remember the name of the commanding officer at Luke Air Force Base at the time. Um, we called the, the Pentagon, uh, or the general from my guard called the Pentagon. Um, I mean, I, I saw it, you know, and I thought, oh, oh, this is really interesting, and uh, let's, uh, let's try to get to the bottom of it. So, Did the guy at the Pentagon, when you spoke to the general at the Pentagon, did he know about this already, or did, was it? 
Well, the uh, general in charge of our guard, I believe, talked to the Pentagon, his, his person at the ten Pentagon, and um, I, I think that they knew that there had been sightings, as I remember it. But, but they weren't talking about it. Whose idea was it to come out and say, hey guys, uh, it was military flare activity? Who, who, whose idea was that? You know, I don't know where that came from. I don't know where that came from. But you know, that was total bunk. Those, I've seen high altitude flares before. I mean, that, that, that wasn't, they weren't flares. I mean, you had, you had um, consistent positions of light. You had um, same intensities. Uh, it moved the same way. I mean, no, no flares had the ability to, to move and hold their position in the sky and then move and hold their position in the sky the way those that you just can't. So they weren't flares. If you had to describe what happened in a, in a paragraph while you were governor on the evening of March 1997, succinctly, what, what would you say? I would say that there was a very mysterious event that happened over, uh, not just over Phoenix, but over Maricopa County. Uh, something we'd never seen before, exceptionally bright lights up in the sky uh, that didn't conform to anything that we had ever known before. Uh, and it has never been explained. And uh, when I was in office, I tried to get explanations. Nobody had an explanation. People just sort of said, well, we just don't know what it is. Um, but it was a... Um, um, it moved, um, it stayed, um, the lights were all symmetrically positioned, and, and it moved, and, um, uh, and um, I'd, I'd say that we probably had our first major encounter with the unknown uh, over Maricopa County at that time. It was really thrilling, I mean, I, but I was never fearful about it. I figure if they're smart enough and capable enough to, <laughs> to come into our airspace, with the technology that they have, they, you know, they, if they wanted to do us in, they could have done us in a long time ago. So I'm, I'm not fearful of this at all.